hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're doing good in this video we're going to be making a top with a standout sleeve so i don't know what they call it if it's standout sleeve or cape sleeve and we'll be adding a peplum to the bottom of the blouse so those are the items we need we need an um, african print about three meters of african print we need the hardened interfacing and taper scissors matching threads a zipper of course the sewing machine so let's get started so we use the biggest part of the body to cut out the fabric and the, the upper part the bust is the biggest part of the body so I cut out two pieces this is for the upper part the bust measurement is 40 inches divided by two because this is for front and this is for back that is 20 inches each then I added some allowance to it so we start by folding the fabric into two. I will turn it to the wrong side. So the front, I will add zip to the front part. The front will be two inches bigger than the back one. So I'm cutting both of them together. I think I will add the line into the upper part. It's better that way so we don't waste much time. So we'll go ahead and place the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches plus half inch seam allowance that is 8 and half inches. From here I will take the amp hole is 9 inches. I'll draw the line here. The wideness of the neck is 3 inches. And the for the back neckline, because this is the back, the front one, this is the front panel, because I added 2 inches for seam allowance, for zip allowance here. So for the back panel, I will make it 2 inches. Why the front one is 3 inches. So I will make a shoulder slope, I will make a 1 inch shoulder slope or shoulder slant here. The shoulder to bust is 10 inches plus half inch seam allowance that is 10 and half inches. Shoulder to waist is 17 inches plus half inch seam allowance that is 17 and half inches. I'll make a horizontal line. And the upper part, the length is uh, the upper part of the fabric, the length is just the half length. Is 17 inches for the upper part and I'll be adding 2 inches for seam allowance for joining it down in the upper part so I'll be placing the measurement now then the bust measurement is 40 inches divided by 4 10 inches then plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 12 inches then the waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 9 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance and plus one inch for that one inch that and I'll connect the lines so this is the back side I'll just make my so I'll go ahead and cut it out Cut this before I will bring the front panel out. So I'll bring the front panel out. I'll be cutting out a half an inch from the front one here. So I'll cut this out. I'm just doing it at the front panel only. I'll be adding my zip here, so I'm cutting it into two. That's the front one. And I will set this aside. We're cutting out the damp part. So I'll be cutting out the pep lump now. Put the fabric into two. So I don't think I'll be doing more on this because I have a series of videos on how to cut out a flare. So I folded it again. It's folded into four now. 
because I'll be pleating the damn part a little bit, so I will double the waist measurement. So the waist measurement is 36 inches times 2, that is a 72 inches. Then I'll be adding 1 inch for zip allowance, that is 73 inches. 73 divided by 6.28, it's 11.6. So I'll rather round it to 12 inches. So I will measure from here. I have series of these in my channel. I don't think I'll be illustrating more on this. So I'll measure from here 11.6 or 12 inches. Then take it round, then cut it out. So I rounded it to 12 inches. Instead of 11.6 inches, I rounded it to 12 inches. So I'll just take the 12 inches round. The full length of my top is 26 inches. So the upper part is 17 inches, so minus 17 from 26 inches, we'll be left with uh, 9 inches. So I'll add maybe to 1 or to 2 inches for seam allowance. Right from here I measure 12 inches. I will take my, the length, the peplum length, 11 inches, I'm making it 11 inches anyway. I'll take it round. This is my 11 inches, so I will cut out here. I will cut this place out first, I will cut the, the waist. Now I'll cut this side out. So I'll cut this into two. We'll go ahead and put the fabric together. So guys, we finished cutting out everything. I cut out, I'm adding lining to the upper part. I cut out the line in the same way I cut out the fabric. So I will go ahead and then sew the line into the fabric. So I will go ahead and then sew here, here, sew everything round. Then I will turn it out right from the neckline. I will do the same thing to the back panel. I finished sewing the line into the fabric, so I'll go ahead and turn it out right from the neckline. So always make a notch before you turn it so that the fabric will be flat. Just use the pressing iron to press it very well. This is the front, this is the back. I did the same thing to the front panel. So next is for us to insert our that. Look for the midpoints, you fold it into two weeks. So I guess we all know how to add that to our fabric. The boss palm is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches. I will add half inch for seam allowance that is 4 and half inches. I will mark my 4 and half inches. So I will come down from the okay this is the back side. So this is the post line the chest line or post line. So I will take half inch on this side and take half inch on this side. And connect the lines right from here. This is 10 inches from shoulder to because this is the back side. So I mark the bust line. Hold it. So that is for the back side and the front side. Remember I marked out uh, one inch for zipper allowance. So if you're taking the front one, make sure you ensure you 
take five and a half inches because of the one inch for the zipper allowance. Bust from shoulder to bust is ten inches. So I'll come down one inch from bust line. And from there I will take my that I'll take my that to the center to this side. So after I've done that, I will put the fabric together. I will turn it to the wrong side. I will make sure the right side are facing each other. That I finished sewing the dart. I will sew the shoulders together, then sew the both side. So I finished sewing the dart and I sew the shoulder and the both side. So we're moving on. This is the peplum I cut out. Remember, I, I doubled the waist measurement because I'm going to be pleating it. And uh, I went ahead and hemmed the bottom of the peplum so that it would be easy for me to pleat. So I will pleat it. I will take 5 inches right from here. I will mark 5 inches. And I will take this. I just eyeball it anyway. I will pin it. So from here, I mark another five inches. And I'll put it from that side. Here, yeah, do it this way. And I'll take five inches again. Take it like so. So I will pleat it to my measurements. Remember the measurement, the waist measurement is 36 inches, then plus 2 inches for zipper allowance. So that is 38 inches. So I will pleat the whole peplum 5 5 inches around the waistline. So I finished pleating, pleating the whole uh, peplum. So after I finish, I finish pleating it. Then I will open it up and make sure you pleat it to the waist measurement. Then I'll open it up, pin it to the waistline. So after I finish pinning it, I will sew this, attach it to the waistline. I finish attaching the peplum to the to the top to the upper part. Okay, I think I will use the black zip. So we attach the zip. So I will remember I cut out one inch for the zip allowance. I will pin the one inch to the zip. So I will pin this side as well. I will sew the zip so one inch on this side and the one inch on the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the zip to the top. I wanted the zip all the way down, but the zip I have is not as long as the top. These ones are long enough for the top, but the colors, I don't like the colors. I just decided to use the one I use. So if you like, in case you are making it, you want to take it down, you can do it like that and look for a longer zip. So we're done with the zip. What we're going to do next is to cut out the neckband and the sleeve. To cut out the sleeve, so I'll measure right from here to this place is 14 inches. It's about 2 to 2 inches before the waistline. This is this side. And I'll measure the other side again is 14 inches. So altogether it's 28 inches. So I'll cut out 28 inches for 29 inches for same allowance. The wideness of the sleeve. I want it to be 8 inches, so I have about 17 inches here, I will fold it into two, so I have, I fold it into two, then I will use half inch to sew it, so I will still have 8 inches for the sleeve, for the wideness of the sleeve, and the length, like I said earlier, is 28 inches, then I add 1 inch for seam allowance, that is 29 inches, so I folded it it's this way, then I folded it into two because I'm cutting for the both sleeves. After folding it into two, like so, then I will take it again, fold it, fold it into four. So, what I'm going to do, 
I'll take my nine inches because it's eight inches. I needed eight inches, but this is nine inches. I'll use one inch for seam allowance. And I'll just take it from here, draw it to meet this end here. Take it, take it, then you cut it down a little bit, come down, come down to meet the ends here. I will be cutting both the fabric and the lining together. I will be adding a, a hard interface into it to make it stand. That is a standout sleeve. So I will go ahead and then cut it out. So when you open it up, she looks something like this. So I will cut it into two. Because this is for the both sleeves, I will be adding interface into it. I will cut the interface in the same way I cut out this. Then I will glue the interface into the to the fabric. And I will take the interface in, take the shiny side. That I guess we all know how to iron interface into a fabric. The shiny side, you place it down, then use a pressing iron to iron it to the fabric. After I've done that, I will take the lining, the interfacing is on this side, and I will turn it to the other side. This is the right side of the fabric. And I will make sure the lining, the right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric are facing each other. So I will just sew it, stitch it all around. Then I'll leave about um, two inches to turn it out. So I stitch it right from here, from the wrong side to this place. I left about six to seven inches on sewed. So I will turn it right from this place I left. Before you turn it, make sure you make a notch around the edges here. And I'm turning it. As you can see, the fabric is wrinkled. I'm going to use the pressing iron to press it. So after I finish that, as you can see, I've already attached the other sleeve. So I will show you guys how I attached it. So what I will do is to turn it this way. So I said I'm taking it up to this place. I will pin it. So I turn it the right side and facing each other. I'll pin it to the fabric half an inch and I'll turn it to the other side. Still pin it. So I've pinned it to the to the top. Then I will sew it here, turn it, and sew it to the other side. Then for the neck band. I will measure the neckline. I will measure it round. So I have about 16 inches here. I cut out about uh, 17 inches. One inch will be for the seam allowance. And the wideness is 3 inches. I added interfacing to one side of the neck band. So I pressed this a quarter of an inch. I went ahead and pressed this one quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do is to sew it here around and bring it to the side before I will attach it to the neck. So I finished attaching the sleeve. The top is actually coming out very well. So I finished attaching the sleeve or the cape. I don't know what they call it. I finished attaching the sleeve or the cape to it. The neckband I sew here so I've sewed this place around and I will turn it out. So I will attach it to the neck around. I will take it like so. So this is the right side of the band, neck band, and this is the wrong side of the neckline. So 
I thought she pin it to the neck. The folded one, bring it down like so. I will stitch it around also here. So guys, I finished attaching the neck band to the neck. And we have also come to the end of this video. Let me turn it to the... This top of blouse is really beautiful. So guys, we have come to the end of today's video. I thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel if this is your first time of watching my video. And please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I will see you on my next one. Bye.